हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक माई यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स पर्सन दिस इज रोहित आई होप यू आर गुड एंड डूइंग वेल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिस्ट्रक्टिव पैकेज हाउ टू डिप्लॉय एंड हाउ टू डिलीट द कंपोनेंट फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दैट इज द वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड टिल हैंड एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट्स एंड प्लीज हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर अपडेट सो यू नेवर वी मिस एनी काइंड ऑफ अपडेट फ्रॉम माई साइड सो लेट गैट इज स्टार्टेड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू what is destructive package first so suppose in your org you have lots of unwanted component and you want to delete it so you can delete like using this destructive package and you can clean your organization and it's easy and it's easy to deploy and easy to access so how to do that let me show you please follow the step by step otherwise you will not get any kind of you know step by step guide so just me open my vs code so you can see this is a my vs code under this vs code you have to create one folder here so this is my sfdx project here you can see so under the root directory you have to create one folder so folder name it can be anything but like let's say item to delete so this is my folder name and under this folder you have to create two files so let me explain to you what is the file name here so first is like destructive changes dot xml you have to use this destructive changes dot xml file Uh, you have to create it and under this metadata you can see like types under the member members name so you have to specify your metadata name and which type of metadata you want to delete it so it can be like apex class apex trigger custom object uh, custom field any kind of thing you can mention here based on your requirement another file is package.xml so you can use second file like package.xml in the same root directory so how to use that let me show you so let me create this file first and in vs code so you can create this file under this folder just click on this new file paste it here enter and now you can see my file is created successfully here just copy and paste this code under the vs code just let me paste it here and under here you have to mention your you know like metadata name and which type of metadata you want to delete it right so let me create another file we will come back here in this part like members and name so come to the second file the second file name is package.xml just let me copy it and paste it here and under this item to delete folder you have to create another file so let's say this package.xml under this package.xml no need worry about to write like data member member function just you have to write like this based on your api version you can mention it so under this package.xml just paste it here our package.xml is ready under the destructive package let me create and let me add some metadata inside this destructive package i want to delete it so under my org let, let me show you here let me create one apex class or you can create apex class using vs code so just control shift p i am using window and create apex class let's say demo okay let so it's already there let me check this demo class under here you can see the demo so under this demo class here you can see this is the demo class right and demo class is already written by me here you can see i want to delete this demo class from my org or you can delete this metadata any kind of org right so how to do that very simple and very easy so under the destructive package you can see like metadata name so you have to change this first so metadata name so you have to give your metadata name so it's a demo so you can mention here demo so which type of metadata you want to delete this is the apex class so let me remove this here and let me add like apex class something like that right if you have lots of metadata you can mention like that okay so let me save this and once you've done your destructive package let me show you under the org first so this apex class so under the click find you have to search like apex class click on this apex classes and uh, here under the apex classes you will be see like demo demo test and opportunity handler something like that right but i want to delete this demo one so once you clicked on this demo one so now you can see the skeleton of this class here you can see let me delete this you can delete directly here but this is not good practice if you have like production environment so don't delete directly you can use your destructive package and you can delete it right so that is the purpose of this video so under here in this destructive package i already mentioned some metadata here you can see we can add another metadata let's say trigger or we can delete it 
uh, first of all let me delete this uh, uh, apex class and later on we will delete the trigger okay so here you can see this one how to delete this you know like uh, apex class using this destructive package you can delete it using workbench there are so many ways but in this video i will show you using vs code so this is the first video i think so in youtube uh, no nobody use this kind of you know like tips and tricks regarding this destructive package using vs code i saw lots of video about this you know destructive package using workbench i already created work uh, one video about the workbench earlier maybe like one year or maybe two years ago so this is new tricks you can delete it destructive package using vs code right so in vs code is easy but uh, whenever you use the workbench the workbench having some you know issue about the packaging like uh, uh, you have to maintain your folder like as a zip or rar something like that based on your requirement and you have to mention these two file in the same directory so sometime i felt like this is the some you know like out of items or out of box functionality so that's why i'm using this destructive package inside vs code okay so just let me open my terminal once you open the terminal so you have to write one command so this command is very simple and this is the command name here let me open it so this is the command name like sf force colon md api colon deploy hyphen hyphen deploy dir this is the directory deployment directory so you have to use this you know like this command so let me copy this command paste it here in the terminal so let me check my folder name item to delete that is correct and uh, let me explain to you before that one so let me take some help from the salesforce what is this md api deploy uh, you know uh, this command accept x command this is the accept command new one so under here let me expand it under here you can learn from uh, this article or you know some suggestion how to deploy it or how to use this md api and here you can see i'm just using sf force md md api deploy hyphen hyphen uh, deploy dir and some path okay so let me copy this command okay and paste it here and here you have to mention like uh, uh, equal to your uh, folder name so my folder name is item to delete okay so once you press enter key you will be see some process is going on in behind the scene and here you will be see some you know like uh, deprecated and running this class and here you can see uh, this id and uh, to cancel to deploy or to get the latest status run this this okay so here you can see each and everything it's deploy this is deployment id under the my org let me uh, check this apex class is available or not in this org so you cannot see any demo class because we already deleted using this destructive package using vs code okay so this is the first way to delete the uh, you know components from the org using destructive package and vs code okay so i hope you got the answer or i hope you this is this is a very useful trick okay so just come to the uh, folder directory let me delete some trigger and in the trigger we don't have any trigger let me create one trigger let's say uh, create apex trigger and this trigger name let's say demo or you can gi give like a test or something like that let's say account trigger okay let me create this account trigger here and uh, which object you want to make it this trigger like account and let me add some skeleton here let's say if and i want to use this one and here you can see this skeleton okay so let me deploy this trigger first okay so once you deploy this trigger let me open my org and let's see this trigger is successfully deployed or not so under this org let me check uh, trigger and under this apex trigger you will be see one trigger that is called account trigger here you can see i want to delete it using destructive package so how to delete it very simple you can follow or you can just use the uh, same destructive package as we already did right like apex class for the apex class i want to use same kind of thing for the apex trigger so very simple just if you have like apex class you can mention it otherwise leave it so i want to use like member as a account trigger account trigger under uh, this name which type of 
this metadata is a Apex trigger. You have to use Apex trigger here, right? And just save it. Once you save it, just do one thing. Again, you have to execute your command. So this is the command here. You can see like SF force colon MD API deploy and then you have to deploy deploy your metadata this destructive package right it's a very easy and it's a very you know shortcut way to delete your component from the o any kind of o you can see right just enter the key and you will be see some processes after that you will not see that kind of you know uh, trigger in your o so let me refresh this this page before that here you can see successfully executed all the commands and under here you cannot see this trigger once you refresh this page so let me refresh it and you cannot see this trigger here so under here now no recourse to display you can see our trigger successfully deleted so you can delete any kind of metadata using this destructive package okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and please subscribe the channel for more updates and uh, if you subscribe the channel, it's very helpful for me. This is the only way to help me. Okay. So guys, till then, bye-bye. Take care. See ya. Thank you for watching, guys.